Hello everyone, today I'm going to be looking at the Bissell Spot Clean Portable Deep Cleaner. So before I take you on a tour of the machine and before I do the demonstrations we need to make some mess. So on this rug in front of me I've got four items that you may possibly spill on the average carpet. So little Johnny has had his uh, blackcurrant squash. Yum yum, thank you mummy. Oops a daisy. Oh, naughty little Johnny has spilt his squash. What are we going to do? Well, in normal circumstances, Mummy would be running around trying to dab that up with a kitchen towel, but not today. We have the Bissell Spot Clean. So I'm going to leave this, all these spillages, I'm going to leave while I'm showing you the machine. I'm not going to clean them up straight away because in reality, you might not have the machine out Although it's a lot quicker to get out than a big carpet cleaner, I'm going to let it soak in. So next, quite a lot of strong black coffee here. Whoops. Still steaming. And now we've got some lovely jam. Take a nice healthy spoonful of raspberry seedless and we'll rub that into here as well. Oh, that's a sticky mess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the Bissell's going to cope with that, but we'll try. I'm going to rub it right in. There we go. And finally, if I can get it out of the bottle, some tomato ketchup. I'll just put a little bit here. Uh, oh. And then we'll use the same spoon. It does feel very wrong to be doing this, but hopefully the Bissell Spot Clean will pick all this up. Okay, right, so that's four stains. We've got the black currant squash, we've got the black coffee, we've got the jam, and finally we've got the ketchup. Okay, we'll just leave these to soak in and uh, possibly dry up a bit while I show you round the Bissell Spot Clean. So here we have the Bissell Spot Clean Portable Deep Cleaner. It comes complete with two bottles of solution, the Spot Clean Spot and Stain two times concentrated solution, and for really stubborn stains, we have the Oxygen Boost. The cleaner itself is very lightweight and compact and easy to store away. You can put it in the cupboard under your sink or under your stairs, anywhere where you can easily grab it when you have an emergency stain to clean up. Just like a full-sized carpet washer, the Bissell Spot Clean has two tanks, one for the clean water and solution and the other to capture the dirty water. At the back of the Bissell Spot Clean you've got storage for the mains cord and to release it you simply turn down the top hook and you can remove the cord in one go. The hose and cleaning tool also store neatly on board. When you want to use the machine you simply unwrap the hose and you're ready to clean up. This is the control trigger so you press this to release the jet of solution here. This is the brush you get supplied. It's got some static brushes to help agitate the stain. It's got a clear window at the front so you can see all the dirty water being sucked up. It's also got a handy release so you can just press that in and any gunk, dog hairs and fibres and nasty things that could get caught up in there are easily rinsed off and you can also rinse the front cover. When you've done that it simply pops back onto the nozzle. So as you can see, we've still got these stains soaking into this carpet. We've got the squash, the black coffee, the jam, and on the end, the tomato ketchup. So I'm going to tackle these stains now. All I need to do is fill the clean water tank with solution and warm water. To remove the solution tank from the Bissell Spot Clean, you simply lift it off and you can fill it from your tap. Now Bissell have handily provided you with some markings on the back of the tank depending on the size of stain you're going to clean. So if you're picking up just one single stain you can use the markings on this side of the tank or if you're tackling a larger stain or if you're say cleaning out your car or upholstery you can use the markings on this side. So because I've got 
some large stains to remove, I'll be filling it up on this side. So on this side I'm going to fill it up to here with water, then up to here with the oxygen boost formula, and then finally up to here with the regular formula. Once you've filled the tank with water and solution, give it a bit of a shake to ensure that the OxyBoost and the formula is well mixed into the water. Also make sure that the black cap is on securely. When that's done, you can pop it into the machine. Before I attempt to clean up all my stains, I'll just show you the dirty water tank on the other side of the machine. Before you use it, make sure that this black stopper is fully seated in the top of the tank like that. If you don't, you might find reduced suction. This tank holds all the dirty water. It's got a fill line here, but if you ignore that line, there is a float valve inside that will cut the suction off, um, which means you have to empty the tank. It's also very easy to clean. Previous Bissell spot cleaners I've had in the past, the tanks have become very grubby and dirty and it's very hard to get them clean. But Bissell have thought of this with this model because you have the float valve that can be removed. You simply twist the bottom, out it comes. So that can all be cleaned in running water. You can even soak that in some hot soapy water. And of course you can give the tank a good clean as well because obviously a machine like this you're going to be cleaning up some rather nasty messes. Now this is ideal if you've got pets, whether you've got young dogs or old dogs, any dogs, any pets in fact, that make a mess, one of these machines will be invaluable, especially if, if you have puppies and you're house training them, they're not going to always wee where you want them to, so having one of these machines to clear any accidents up is an absolute boon. Okay, so it's got clean water and solution in. The dirty water tank is correctly located. Now I need to tackle the stains. This will recommend you pre-treat your stains three to five minutes before actually cleaning them. So all you have to do is spray some of the solution onto the stain, leave it to work before you actually use the suction and the brush to remove the stain. So all I'm going to do is squeeze the little red trigger to allow some of the solution out of the spray nozzle here and just saturate the stain and then I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, it's been a few minutes and you may be able to see that the solution is already starting to break up the stain, especially here you can see on the jam and also on the ketchup. Now I'm going to tackle each stain one by one, starting with the squash, then the coffee, then the jam and then the ketchup. So I'm going to use the brush that's built into the nozzle and I'm going to agitate the solution. I'll apply a little bit more of the solution while I'm doing it. And then when it's thoroughly agitated in, I'm going to use the suction to hopefully remove all the solution and the stain.
Now that note detects that I've actually filled the tank. You heard a slight change in the noise of the machine. So you can see it's actually filled up, so I need to empty it. But look, you can actually see in there. That's all the dirty solution and the stains that was on this carpet are now in this tank. So I'll just go and empty this and then we'll finish up cleaning the tomato ketchup. Okay, I'm ready to tackle the tomato ketchup stain. I've got a bit closer with the camera so you can see all the solution being drawn up the front of the nozzle. I can see a very tiny amount of the ketchup left so I'm just going to do a little bit more cleaning on that I'll just apply a little bit more solution Okay, here is the area of carpet that just a few moments ago had those stains on it. I've not falsified this. I can assure you it's the same piece of carpet. I don't work for Bissell. I don't have anything to gain from you buying this machine. But as you can see, it is damp, but it won't be too long before that dries. It has removed every one of the stains. Now, when you're using the oxygen boost formula, this will claim that it will continue to work for up to eight hours. It will penetrate down into the carpet and to ensure that the stain won't come back. Often when you clean a stain, it wicks up and you'll find it's come back again. But the oxygen boost should prevent that happening. If it does happen though, you can always go over the stain again with the Bissell. But using this method with the suction and solution is a far better way of removing spots and stains from your carpet because if you're using a towel or um, an old kitchen towel or whatever, it's going to press down the stain deeper into the pile, which is why you do get the stain coming back. With this method, you are suctioning up the stain into the dirty water tank. So it has done a very good job. And as you can see, this is a close-up of the dirty water tank. You can see the colour of that water. So all those stains that were on my carpet are now safely inside the dirty water tank, ready for me to empty down the sink or the drain. Apart from using the Bissell Spot Clean to remove those accidental spills and stains, you can of course use it to deep clean your upholstery, your stair carpets and even your car interiors. As you can see, the Bissell Spot Clean easily sits on a standard stair, so you can clean a whole flight of stairs simply by moving the machine up as you go along. Now, because it's quite a large area, you will have to empty and refill the machine a few times in order to clean a full flight of stairs. Well, that's about the end of my review and demonstration of the Bissell Portable Spot Clean Deep Cleaner. Would I recommend it? Well, yes, 100%. It's a very useful appliance to have. 
Even if you own one of the big carpet washers, and I own a Bissell Power Wash Premier, which is ideal for cleaning larger areas, it's just a little bit inconvenient to get out if I have a small spillage. Just as you wouldn't get out a big vacuum cleaner if you've got a few crumbs to pick up, you'd go for a little handheld or rechargeable machine. So this Spot Clean is a similar sort of principle, but it's designed, of course, to clean stains and spots from your carpets and upholstery. It's also very handy to have for cleaning inside your car, cleaning your stairs, and any areas where you can't reach with a big machine. I'd even recommend this if you don't have any carpets in your house. If you've only got a few rugs, you can actually use this to clean a whole rug. It will take a while because of the small nozzle, but it is possible just to deep clean your rugs. You can also, of course, use it on your upholstery and in your car, if, even if you don't have a fully carpeted home. All in all, it's very good. It's a little on the noisy side, but that's really the only downside I can see to this cleaner. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you want to see other demonstrations on full-sized carpet washers and vacuum cleaners, please check my back catalogue. There are hundreds of different videos there for you to look at. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.